Hey Epic Seven players, Sodi here back again with a new video. So today I'm very excited to be trying out the newly buffed up version of Maid Chloe. So here's how I built her. So I basically went for a tanky build with a decent amount of speed and some ER. So I chose to go for Shimadra Staff. This artifact will further increase her and her allies ER by 20% and the healing they receive by 38%. Her passive now also grants team-wide ER boost of 20%, so this passive coupled with Chimadra staff will give her whole team 40% extra ER, so she's basically at 226.5% ER right now. The thing is, I have a really nice helmet for her, um, I'll show you guys right here. So this helmet will basically increase her speed and ER. So she'll be at 239 speed and basically 245.5% ER. But she'll lose out on too much survivability I feel. Like the helmet I currently have on her is a very tanky helmet as you guys can see. So yeah, I'll go for the tankier build I think tankiness is way too important so Without further ado, let's get right into RTA. So I already did a couple games with Maid. So far so good. I don't want to say too much right now, but I have a feeling that she could be great in RTA. Yeah, her buffs are great. Um, that can definitely be said. Yeah, we'll need more testing. So let's see how she'll perform today. Okay, we got... We got first pick. Alright, um... Do I even pre-ban Bazaar because... Because Maid's not bad into Bazaar, right? But I want to first pick FCC and Bazaar hard counters FCC, so... I think I... Do we pre-ban Bazaar? Or do we just pre-ban General Purgus? Let's just pre-ban General Purgus. I should have pre-ban Bazaar, yeah. I'll go for FCC. Landy plus Maid. Oh dang it, it doesn't matter. Uh, we don't have to be the one um, using Maid, right? <laughs> so, alright, let me think here. So, I could go for Bazaar. Bazaar is actually pretty, very good to Landy, but I'll pick him later. So right here, I'll go for... don't want to go for Spectre because Landy's really good versus Spectre. Um, I do have a hard counter to Maid in my MO Haste. I'll pick him later. So... Actually, what I'll do is I'll go RB plus MO Haze. He could go for LQC here if he has her. So I won't ban the Maid here. This is a Maid Chloe showcase. So I'll let Maid through the draft so you guys can see how she performs. Alright. Okay, so ban target right now is the Landy. So TM Luluk is really good here. So what I'll do here is I'll go for. TM Luluk is really good to mate because of her extinction. And I'll go for Falconer Cleary. Or Bazaar. Nah, I'll go Falconer. And I could just ban. Oh, I, I can't. But Landy's on Guiding Light, right? Right. Okay, so what, I do, what do I do here? I think I ban. I think I ban the Landy here. This could be a long game. Yeah, because she has Guiding Light. Will he ban our MO Haze? He banned the Falconer, okay. I have a feeling that's a very tanky... Um... Fire Charlotte. Probably a very tanky Fire Charlotte on counter or something. Yeah, Fire Charlotte got buffed, right? So, so we can see Fire Charlotte in action too. What am I talking about? Not Charlotte. Uh, Carrot, right. Right. So you can see Carrot in action. Ooh, he... Okay, I thought the carrot's gonna be at the back, but he wants to... Okay, I see. Okay, so I'll go for the carrot here. Yeah, the game's a bit laggy today, not sure why. Wait, Ooh, we almost one-shotted her. Well, if we one-shot her, it was pretty much over. 
Okay, I'm lagging right now for some reason. Um, I think it's to do with the servers. Okay. Wait, are you serious? Are you serious right now? Alright, so I just took a little break, basically changed up my internet and we basically lost the game just now, right? Because we got disconnected. But when I checked the battle log, we actually won that game for some reason. I guess my opponent also DC'd, so yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> Alright, let's move on to the next game. Hopefully we get to pick Maid Chloe this time though. Yeah, basically moved a lot of my DJ Bazaar's gears over to my mate Chloe. But yeah, I've been pulling a lot of... I mean, I've pulled a lot of Chloe dupes over the years. So my mate Chloe's a double S imprint right now. So yeah. Okay. Alright, we got first pick. So... Hmm. Oh, come on. Alright. Yeah, hopefully we don't lag out again. So who do I pre-ban here? Um, let's go for the General Purgus pre-ban, right? Now let's go for let's target ban here. I know this guy plays Briseria. I think Maze good into Briseria though. Yeah, I'm not gonna pre-ban. Nah, let, let's just pre-ban General Purgus. I don't think this guy plays GP though, but it's all right. So what I do here is I go for. So the thing is, I wanna I wanna pick Maid, right? But this guy's got ammo haste, so I can't go for ammo haste. So what I'll do here is actually mm, could go for a tie win first pick actually. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, I normally don't go for a tie win nowadays, but this is fine. Yeah, we should have la done the landy first pick. That that was it. yeah. Alright, so he went for Lilia, so I'm not gonna go for Falconer here. So what I'll do here is, I'll go for Ammo Haste. This may seem weird, but right? But trust me on this, so what I'll do here is, go for Ammo Haste, yeah? So he hard counters Arbiter of Vildred and Maid Chloe, so I'm not gonna pick Maid yet. I'll pick, um... Actually, I could just go for Maid here, right? No, 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 I don't go Maid yet. Go for... Yeah, let's go for Maid. I can't, I can't decide. I haven't tried this out yet, but I think this way of drafting actually works. <laughs> Early picking ammo haste. This is good if you know your opponent has an ammo haste. Normally, I wouldn't do it. Okay, so Landy would have been very good for us here, but um, she already got snatched away. So, um, hmm, let me think here. Not sure if that's an ER Lilith. I could straight straight up ban the Landy. Fire Ravi, okay. So I could go for water units here. Um I could I could go actually SSB mm, SSB pretty good into the Lilith and the Fire Ravi, but she's not great into the Crow. So I'll go for Arbiter Filtrate here. Yeah, alright, so he can't 5th pick, he, he basically he basically can't 5th pick um, ammo haste, so I could go for a CC unit or another damage dealer. I could go for TM Lulica, check out TM Lulica, I think my TM Lulica is going to outspeed. Uh, Let's just go F10 here. Yeah. Alright, okay, so we only have Arbiter as our damage dealer. He he probably just ban the Arbiter here. So I could just ban one of the damage dealers or Lilius. That's a cleanser, right? If that's an ER Lilius, we could be in trouble. Okay, he's. Hmm. Okay, okay. If he bans RB, are we in trouble? Let's see if it's an ER Lilius. He, he, he'll ban RB, I think. Yeah. Alright, so. Hmm. Alright, hope. If it's not an ER Lilius, then we're in a very good spot here. Welcome to 
yeah, I switched up my um, Fairy Tail Tenebrious Gears. She's faster now. She's at 286 speed. Also, my crowd, my water crowd's got. Um, I got a couple dupes in the. Okay, so it's an ER Lilius. Okay, um. We, we, we still can do this here, so what I do is I just attack. Let's just attack the Lilius. Okay, um. If, if she does her S3, then we have 8 Tywin's S3 next turn. I don't think I use my. My Maze S3 yet. I think I saved Maze S3. Because I don't want the Landy to have her. Full focus S3, right? Oh, it's not an ER Lilius. My A Tywin. Wow, so we got 15 percentage. Yeah, my A Tywin doesn't have that much effectiveness. My F10 e has way more effectiveness than my A Tywin. Okay, so we got unlucky there with the F10 e. She didn't strip the. Yeah, it basically got 15 percent hit. So I'm not gonna go for the Ravi here. I think I go for. Um, let's just go for the Lilius. Okay. Ooh, double defense break, very nice. So right now I just try and take out the the landy. I mean we have made Chloe's S3 up so we're not too afraid of dying yet. Okay, he's gonna try and provoke my tie win, but I'm not gonna S3 yet because I don't have the souls to soul burn. He got lucky with the door attack. Oh, okay. So I'm just gonna S1 here. Yeah, try and take out the Landy here. Um, do I S3 yet? Yeah, for the attack buff. Alright, try and Abyssal Crown the. the. Lilius here, we did not land it well. She resisted something. Okay, she's gonna try and provoke my MO haste here. Okay, gets it off. That's two turns of no S. We could have taken out the Landy here. Okay, now we soul burn. I mean, we got attack buff, so we'll do good damage. Ooh, very tanky. Did not stun the Ravi, that's not good. Okay, Crowd Silence. He not get stunned by Lisi Silence. Okay, he's gonna take out my Tywin here. The good thing about Maid is she's really good late game. Um, try and pop the mate. Okay, we see our push to everybody because we actually landed our stun there. <laughs> okay, so who do I go for? Do I go for the Landy here? This, no, I don't go for the Landy. Um, what I do here is I go for the Lilius. It's the Lilius or it's the Lilius on Holy Sack, I'm not too sure. Alright, we have our S3 up. So the great thing oh we did not hit the landing. So the great thing about do we have our S3 Soul Burn? Great thing about MO Haste is he's a damage dealer, right? To an extent. He's not really a soul dealer. <laughs> so I, I just go for the crowd here, try and take him out. I think we can take him out. Keep going for him. Yeah, I don't want him to horse, yeah. Oh, we actually stunned him. That's really good. Can the fire Ravi solo us? Not too sure. Um Save my S3 till next turn. Oh 
Okay. Alright, so can the fire Ravi solo us? Alright, um S1 the Ravi here. Maybe we stun? No stun. I'm not gonna go for hmm. Let's just go for Lilius. I don't wanna give Ravi CR. Holy sad. Nope. Alright, let's see if we can stun her here. She's got her S3 up by the way. We stunned her, that's really good, okay. Frenzy stage 5, so... Okay, I think I got one turn until my S3 AoE revives. Yeah, I don't think the Ravi can one-shot. Ooh, she countered. Wow, wow, that's a lot of damage. Um, I think I soul burned here, I think I soul burned. Soul burned and S3, I don't want her to S3. Alright. Okay, hopefully we land the Provoke here, very important. Very very important to land the Provoke. Ooh, we actually Abyssal Crown, that's even better. <laughs> okay. Alright, good game. So Fire Ravi couldn't even S3 there, got too much crowd control in all draft. Yeah, the A time was definitely the right pick there. Um, what did I last pick? I don't think I went for TM Lulica, right? I think I went for... Ah, uh, I last pick Fairy Tail. She was definitely the pick there into the Fire Ravi. All right, next game. So yeah, I think it's better to pair made with damage dealers, but yeah, um, we had enough control there, so it all worked out. So I couldn't pick Spectre to Nibiru there because of the Landy. Landy's pretty good counter to Spectre. Red like roses. Alright, we got a second pick here. So, I used to play this guy a lot. I think I have over 50 games versus this guy. So, um, he likes to go design a little bit. I think I banned Cerise here. Do I? Um, let's go for the design. Uh, Go for Cerise fan. He's gonna go Maid Chloe. He's yeah, haven't faced him in some time, so I think he's just gonna go Maid since yeah, Maid got buffed. All right, so we got FCC. Go FCC Landy. The problem is he can go for Bazaar, right? Yeah, I can't really go for crowd control units versus this guy because he's got very good uh, design a little bit draft. He, he likes to go design a little bit plus defense buffer like Alencia. Yeah, and also he's got DJ Bazaar built. Okay, so I'm not gonna go for CC units here. Instead, I'll go for Maid and Maid and one more unit. Who should I go for? I don't think Falcon is going to DJ Bazaar, so I'll go for Maid. Arbiter got. Okay, Arbiter got banned. I'm not sure if he's got MO haste. Um, so let's go for Maid Chloe here. Can't can't pick A Tywin too because of the um, the DJ Bazaar. I think SSB is not bad here. Do I go SSB? I think I go for another AOE damage dealer. I think Tempest Siren's good, yeah. Yeah, T Siren's pretty good here. Um, it's either SSB or T Siren. That's, I think I'll ban that. That's a T Siren counter because of the Sober and S1. I could last pick SSB here, but if I do that, then I will basically have. Then he can just ban the paid. And then, yeah, hmm, what do I do here? SSB is too good, right? Or do I go for... Or do I ban the DJ Basako F10? -E? No, I can't do that. I only have one speed contester. I'm gonna just go SSB. 
honestly, um, yeah, they ban this, right? I think he'll ban the maid, unfortunately, because of the Briseria pick. Maid's great into Briseria. I mean, we can let him have the first turn, I think. We have three damage dealers. Yeah, I think Briseria is the ban. Ooh. Okay. Um. Hmm. Do I put mate at the back, SSB front? I don't think. I don't think I put mate front. I think I put mate back. Yeah. SSB front, yeah. Yeah, I, I can't have mate get taken out, she's out of win condition in terms of supporting, you know, revive buff and stuff. Oh, he's got souls with Spectre, I totally forgot about that. But then again, can just revive with, with Maid. Maid can just revive the t Surin, right? So, I think, I think it's okay here. Spectre doesn't have soul burn, she can S3 here. Um, she can't target Landy, she can go my maid, my maid's got enough ER to resist the stun from the S10. -E. Is he gonna sober in this? We went teeth through and cut the. Hmm. Go for the S3, okay. Onto the SSB, okay. All right, S3 here. I think my land DC R push will bring T3 in in front. Yeah, we got the full focus because of all the buffs. Yeah, we don't have a knight by the way. Um, we don't have any damage mitigation here. Literally just make for look at the damage attack buff. That's crazy. Proc gap. That's very tasty. We're gonna full heal from this. The spectre is gonna get taken out. I think. Wow, she survived. Okay. He has to go for the SSB, right? I think one shot, we don't have damage mitigation. Yes, a lot of damage. Yes. Um that unit's very good. Uh what's her name? What's her name again? Um TM Lulica's really good into Maid, I think, because of the extinction. Oh we almost got full focus S3, we don't but um, what, what do I do here? I think I take out the DJB. Let's just take him out. Guiding Light. Okay, we still have Guiding Light. That's good. We have Revive buff to you. Ah, uh, we don't have... Hmm. Wow, he actually hit our Landy. He hit our Landy. Dang it. I mean, he, he had two tries for that, so it's fine. Wow, 40% chance. Okay. Oh, it's actually pretty close. Um, I don't have my S3. Yeah, we lost. We lost to the, the, the top model, Lulika. I should have banned her. She's a hard counter to Tempest Serene. It's a good game, though. I think if I banned the Lulika, I would have been in a good spot. Alright. That, that was a good game though, that was a good game. Should have banned the Lulika. Yeah, Lulika did way too much here. She extincted my SSV and she also basically hard countered Tempest Siren. So yeah, if you're going up against Maid, you could go like TM Lulika plus MO Haste if you have those two units. Alright, so this guy's the, um, the tournament manager. <laughs> Um, yeah, okay, so Cilantro Cup Tournament owner. So he got the first pick, so who do I ban here? Let's ban... Hmm, I think I ban... Ban General Purgus, I think. Yeah. FCC pre-ban, okay. Alright, this guy's very strong. Okay, see why he first picked. 
crowd. So he's probably gonna go knights here. So I could go for Landy. Yeah, let's do that. Why not surrender? Landy plus ammo haste. <laughs> I want to pick me, that's why I'm going MO Haste. I don't want my opponent just second or third picking Maid. I want to play Maid today, so... Let's pick MO Haste. So now he sync twice before going for Maid or Arbiter. Okay, he went for the... Um, the Carrot. Senya. okay, now here's the game. Alright, so... Let's go for Maid. We don't even have a Knight, so let's pick a Knight here. Um, I think a Tywin's pretty good into the Carrot. Falconer... Is Falconer good here? I think Falconer is too good, right? Because Speed Contester, yeah. Hmm. I'll let the Passar through, ban the DN, and I'll go for Arbiter. Alright, let's see... Let's see Carrot and Senya in action, guys. <laughs> oh wait, if he bans my mate, we're in trouble. Oh, he banned... Okay, um, we don't have a Knight again, but... <laughs> yeah, going second picking MO Haze. Really messing up my draft. But, let's see here. Okay, so... As long as we can survive, as long as Maid survives, basically, um... Alright. We got a lot of healing from the Maid and MO Haste. We could be okay, let's see how it goes. Wait, that's a slow bazaar. I ah, wish we proc'd Gap. Slow bazaar on immunity. Okay, let's see what the carrot can do. 20k HP, presumably she's fast, so I don't think she's on counter. Could be on counter, this is speedy counter build. Sober and gives her extra turn, okay. Boo. What the? Look at the damage, wow. That's a, well, we don't have damage, we do have damage mitigation. Wow, he obviously, obviously hits my Landy, but uh, we have damage mitigation from MO Haze. Okay, so my mate could resist the pushback here because of the high ER. Alright, S3 should cleanse and then apply attack buff, right? And revive buff. I haven't tested it out yet, I'm not sure. Okay, it does. Perfect. Wow, what, what a great unit. Yeah, see, Senya here, 15k HP. A lot of damage. We're blinded too. So we're not gonna hit the. Hopefully we hit the San, the Senya and the. Ah, four misses, guys! Wow. Okay, so we're gonna get revive. And who do I go for here? I think I go for Bazaar or the Senya. I think I go for Senya, right? No, she's gonna counter. Well, if she counter attacks me, I'm just gonna see how push my DPS unit. Gonna counter attack me, see I'll push my hobby. And I'll attack. We missed again, we're missing everything today. Okay. So I'll try and stun the No stun. Resisted the stun, dang it. Alright, S2's coming. But we're not hitting anything, we're just missing every attack this game. We could have taken out that that um Senya I think if we do not get Yeah if we not get resisted And he hits my Landy with a crowd I mean I think hmm We have enough souls hmm Okay No attack buff so Hopefully we get Gap, just give me Gap. Finally. Alright, so this will take out... Ah, but the damage reflect is gonna take me out, right? From the Senya. 
Oh, okay, damage reflected, not proc. So I just go for Bazaar here. Okay, so is that a counter? Uh, let's see if it's a counter build. Shall I test my theory? Hmm. S3 is up again, wow. Oh, damage. I think our RB will fall to the burn, unfortunately. Well, we'll fall to that. Yeah, look at that, 11k burn. Holy crap. <laughs> Alright, let's go for Okay. We have two turns. Come on, stun. Just stun one time, mate. Just one time, stun. <laughs> hey, he's going for the... Wow. Wow, is, is Charlotte like... I mean, I keep saying Charlotte because she's a fire unit, right? Reminds me of Charlotte. The carrot. It's like, it's carrot legend. Now, how many turns does Crow have? Two turns. Come on, stun. Resist it. It's an ER build. Really? Um... Honestly, I haven't read the buffs when it comes to shot, uh, the, the <laughs> that unit. Okay, here comes the rebuff. The carrot, yeah. Wow, carrot burns, man. Does so much damage. Here comes AoE revive. Um, I go for the... Can the carrot take us out? I go for the crowd. I don't want to hit... The thing is, if we hit the, the carrot, we win, right? I'll go for the carrot. Let's, let's, let's. We, we did not hit, dang it. Got S3. Yeah, that was a risky play. I think she's got her S3 up. Yeah, so she'll take out our RB and our other unit again. But she's, she doesn't have any healing, right? I haven't read up her kit, so I have no clue. Wow. Yeah, Mayclaw is really good late game. Well, we did not have a knight here, but managed to pull through. That was a good game. That was actually pretty fun. Senya, huh? I haven't tried Senya out in RTA yet. I think Senya pairs pretty well with Mei, but... Yeah, I have to... I have to go for a different build. I can't go for a squishy 6.7k attack or whatever build I have her on for GVG with Lilia. So I have to go for a tankier build with maybe like 5k attack. Preban GP here. Okay, he's gonna go FCC here because he preban Bazaar. So right here, I'll go for. I have to go for Landy into FCC first pick because she's going to. Um, she's going to FCC. She's going to Spectre. She's going pretty good into um, Fairy Tail because of. Elemental Advantage giving her 50% evasion versus Fairy Tail Tenebria. So I can't go for Falconer here because that just opens me up to fire units, yeah, like Ravi. So can't go for two Earth units. So what I do here is I go for Emo Haste again because I want to pick mate, I think. <laughs> yeah, let's do that again. Yeah, so he doesn't pick mate. I want to pick mate, so gonna pick a main hard counter to block out the you know the mate pick yeah all right mate's very good into Briseria I'd say okay pretty um so right here I could go for a counter to I could go for something at Falconer clearly a speed contester um I think I do that go for Falconer here Falconer great into Charlotte because you just provoke her right Falconer also very good into FCC. Okay, we have Falconer plus Landy. Ooh, that's a good... Yeah, Alencia could come back as a counter to mate, now that I think about it. Okay, so... Spectre. So I could go another damage dealer here, like SSB. Do I do that? I could just go for Arbiter. I think I go Arbiter here. I mean, SSB is really, really good though. Yeah, if I go SSB and I ban the Charlotte, like SSB just solos, right? Like SSB literally solo this if we, if we ban the Charlotte. 
So what do we do here? That like we could just win this if SSP gets through. If SSP does not get through, I mean, we have Landy for this Spectre, right? I think I banned the... Yeah, he banned... Okay. Yeah, this is fine, I think. Alright, let's go. So basically... Oh, please. Hopefully, hopefully we land the strip provoke onto the onto the LQC here. It, this is this is super important. Please, please just land, please. Okay, perfect. All right, that's perfect. So do we S three here? Do we or do we save it? If we S three, we have the attack buff for the landy. I don't think we S3, right? Yeah, we don't S3 yet. Or maybe we should have. Not sure. See, so yeah, damage onto the LQC is very good amounts of damage. Um, Do I S3 the LQC here? No, I just S1 here. I save the heal. Okay, see a damage here, 4.8k, okay. He can't take out my maid, right? I mean, I have Adamant Shield on my Falconer. If he takes out unit here with the Spectre, we can just revive them, so... Oh, he's not going to Sovereign, he's just going to Falconer, I think. Oh, Landy, that's a good target. Stun her, okay. Lifesteal to Nibiru, okay. So right here, just try and take out the LQC. Try and stun the... Got off the stun very nice, CR push. Let's go for LQC again. Do a S3 here. Um... Nah. I think this will take her out. Yeah, it took her out. We didn't need the dual attack. Alright, S3 here. Yeah, Landy very good into the Spectre here. I think I think we can proc Guiding Light here, not sure. Alright, let's proc the Immortality buff. Very nice. And do a S3 here. Nah, I think I just try and stun here. If we stun, we win. We did not. Hmm. Okay. So Spectre can't take out my maid even with Soul Burns because she's too tanky and Spectre doesn't have attack buff. Yeah, we got too much ER for the... Oh, we took quite a bit of damage there. Wow. Can she take out the maid? Wow, and she hit my... I have to S3 now for the heal. Wow, that's a lot of damage. Oh, he went for Landy. Yeah, S3 for the heal here. Um, let's go for the FCC. Okay. Alright, I don't have my S3 yet. We strip! <laughs> that is that is not fair, guys. So you know what I'll do? I'm, I'm not gonna attack... No, no, I, I, I'm not gonna attack your... Don't worry, I'm not gonna attack your Briseria. You, you can have your S3. That was not fair. For the showcase, I'll let I'll let your Priseria go for the S3. Yeah, I got lucky there. I got lucky there. Okay, so. Alright, okay, so so I'll show you guys right here why Maid counters Priseria. Can just S3 here, cleanse everything, revive buff, attack buff. Oh wait, we did not cleanse. Wait, Landy. Ah, we only cleansed two debuffs with Maze S3, so we didn't cleanse enough debuffs. We didn't cleanse the unable to be buffed debuff from the Landy. Okay, so do I S3 here? Nah, I save it. Go for the Briseria here. Wow. 
okay. Wait, I think we're still okay. I think we're still okay. Does he have S3? I think he has S3. Okay, not yet. Next turn. Okay, so... Yeah, he's got S3 up on the Spectre, but I think it's over. Um, yeah. This S1 here. Yeah, dual attack. Extra turn. <laughs> dual attack stun into CR push. <laughs> Yeah, something to do with the servers, guys. I'm lagging a bit today. Um, I'm also getting a bug. So yeah, made pretty good now, huh? Yeah, I'm also getting a bug that when I go to... Yeah, right here. When I go to my lobby, this pops up. I don't have any packs. It, it literally keeps popping up. But yeah, that's pretty much it for today's made RTA showcase, guys. So yeah, made really good now, I say. Like, she's not easy to deal with. Um, so yeah, here's, here's my build. Pretty good build. The survivability is very important. Um, if I go for more tankiness... Uh, oh wait, speed. I mean, if I go for less survivability, let, let's say I go for this helmet. Should have more speed, more ER, but the problem is at that, at that survivability, she's gonna be e easy to deal with, yeah? Like a Landy or a Spectre Tenebria can take her out. Um, yeah, basically just take her out. And if I go up against a Cleave team, you know, if I have defense break on me in Arbitrary, Vildred, Sober, and S3, she's gonna get taken out, right? So I need the survivability. I can't go for this helmet. I have to go for the tanky one, you know? So she's at 1.5k defense with almost 18k HP and 226.5 ER which will go up to 230 if I get one more imprint yeah I keep pulling Chloe dupes I even pulled one made Chloe dupe so yeah I had three Chloe dupes and one made Chloe dupe got her up to double S imprint so yeah I may be maining her now just because I have double S imprint on her and yeah um, I updated my F10 -E. here she is she's faster now I don't have immunity set on her, so speed's very important. So, yeah, 286, decent speed. Um, can speed contest pretty well. She's got okay amount of effectiveness. It's not enough versus stuff like Maid with ER or DJ Basal Ray, you know, the upcoming MO Carrick, which I think is pretty underwhelming. I think I think he's okay. That's all. He's just okay. There are alternatives out there, like Vivian, for example. Okay, Vivian's not an ER cleanser, but. You know, I'd rather draft Vivian if I want attack buff plus immunity buff and you know Vivian just cleaves, right? Like yeah, so I'm not gonna be pulling for a more Carrick, I think. Maybe if it gets like a last minute change or something. Um and here's my water crow. Um yeah, he's updated him a bit. He's very tanky at say 28.3k HP, um 1.5k defense, almost 1.6k got some ER okay speed on immunity so I went up I, I like to draft him into cleavers now because he would just survive with a bit of HP right because he's so tanky and then I can just return with an S3 take out a unit or just S2 apply defense buff right so yeah that's pretty much it for today guys hope you guys enjoyed today's RTA video if you did please give again please give my video a like and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to join my epic 7 discord the link is down below in the description so you have a great day guys sodi signing out